am Grace Bando. I'm a medical surgical dermatologist. I practice in Bristol, Rhode Island. We're here with Salam Culture Museum in Jordan and I'm very excited to be here this year because we've partnered with Unilever and Direct Relief so I think what we're going to be able to do this year will be greater than what we did last year in terms of the number of people served and the number of conditions that we can help. People need basic supplies. They need food, they need water, they need clothing, and they need basic health care. And one of the major components of that health care is, believe it or not, skin care. If they had access to something as simple as Vaseline, many of the problems that we intend to see here and that we do see here would not be nearly as severe as they are. Something as simple as Vaseline can help prevent severe manifestations of basic problems, dry skin, fissured lips, fissured dry feet. Hi, my name is Samer Jabber. I'm a dermatologist from New York City. I work in private practice and I'm also a, on faculty at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine. I uh, just arrived in Amman last night and I'm ready to start our first day of the healing mission in the Syrian refugee camps in Jordan. Here in the refugee camps you see a lot of conditions related to their living situation. People's skin is extremely, extremely dry because of the harsh environment. Today we saw probably 200 patients and we're here in a refugee camp called Azmi al Mufti. We saw so many patients with just simple dry skin and eczema. You know, and we were fortunately able to give them simple things and make them better. We saw things that were much more severe, much more rare. We saw cases of leishmaniasis, which is a parasite transmitted by a sandfly. We saw families with scabies, lice, head fungus. We saw children who came in without their parents because their parents were not able to bring them in. They were working or unavailable. We had a family of four children brought in by an 11-year-old, and they all had severe fungus involving their scalp. And the 11-year-old was able to uh, understand all the instructions and is in charge of taking these instructions home to her parents in order to treat her entire family. We just arrived on the fourth day of our mission trip and we're in al Zatari camp. This is about 80,000 people, give or take, live in this camp. Syrian refugees who have fled the civil war in Syria. Zatari is now about the fifth largest city in Jordan. There's that many refugees here. There's streets, there's markets. People have lived here for four years, going on five years. It's hot and it's exposed and people are in tents. And so the elements are very harsh and things can get exacerbated quickly. Today was especially striking because of the conditions that we saw. Many burns. The refugees here in Zatri are cooking over gas stoves, they're cooking in tents. We saw a lot of burns from hot water. So it's a very difficult conditions for these refugees. The last day of our trip, we're on our way to Zatri camp for the second time. The one thing that's been so amazing of our time here is meeting and talking to the people. These people have been through so much. They are refugees. Many of them have walked from Syria here with just the clothes on their back. They've almost all had family members killed, wounded, or missing. And yet they are so resilient, so thankful, and just so happy to have people here to help them. It's been really touching. We see children who have literally spent the last four years living in a dry desert without enough water, without enough clothing, without enough food, and they're smiling and waving at us. It's hard to express. It's just really, it's really amazing. And to be here and have the chance to just give somebody something as simple as sunscreen or a little bit of Vaseline and to see them smile and be happy and say thank you and truly mean it is really special.